Jesus, mighty Jehovah God, our Lord Jesus Christ, and our Savior, we humbly come before your presence, O God of glory, O majesty, because you are great God and you are powerful Jehovah God. Thank you for your goodness, thank you for your faithfulness, thank you for your kindness, Jehovah. Thank you, Jesus even because of gathering us in this place, Jehovah Redeemer, that we may hear your word. Lord Jesus, we know that you are, there is something that you are doing in this end time. You are purifying your church through your word. For your word is the sanctification that sanctifies the church. Lord Jesus, we pray for your word that sanctifies. Your word that washes away. Your word that prepares us for your kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Speak to us, Jehovah, like you spoke to the prophets. Like you spoke to the apostles. Speak to us like you spoke to the church. Father, and prepare us in the name of Jesus. We pray for revelation. We pray for knowledge. We pray for understanding. We pray for your precious of the Holy Spirit to speak to us, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless all the viewers, Lord. Bless the church here, Father. Bless the online church, Father. And speak to us, Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke the spirit of sleeping, the spirit of confusion, the spirit of weakness of the flesh and the soul. In the name of Jesus, and we pray the quickening of your Holy Spirit, the erratness and the awareness of your Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, we do pray and believe. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise Jesus. If you Praise Jesus. Amen. Yes, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Feel welcome in Jesus' name. Ah, it is a great day and a wonderful day that the Lord has given us. And so we magnify the name of God. And today, I want us to run about the rapture. I want us to run about the rapture because it has been a straight thing to the people of today. It has been a strange thing. It has been something that is not known to the people of today. To the Christian of today. Because it's not mentioned. And they are not taught what it means about rapture. And rapture, it is the very thing that as the church that we should know about in a tupasa kujua. It is the very thing that we should not uh, be an uh, ignorance of. Because as a Christian, why do you become a Christian? What is your hope and expectation as a Christian? Is it living? 100 
years in this world. As a Christian, you have one expectation. That one day, this day, it will come to you. For Jesus will come again. And for you will be taken up with you. This is our hope of our calling. And this is the hope of the church of the end time. The people that live there are before us. We were living with the expectation that one day this Jesus will come. And that's how they lived. They died with this expectation that they will see Jesus. And even if they die, they still be lived that they will be selected for that day will come. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Do you believe that there is a day that will come for Jesus Christ will come again? If you don't believe, we will read the word of God and you shall come to believe. In the book of 1 Corinthians, where is this rapture found? You know there is no way in the Bible that is written the word rapture. That could be the fact that the people that are fighting against rapture. They tell you there is no way in the Bible which is named after rapture. But what is this rapture according to the Bible? First Corinthians chapter 15. Start 51. First Corinthians 15, 51. Number one, you used to know this. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. But we shall all be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, the dead shall be raised in incomplacable. And we shall be changed. Hallelujah. The Bible says, I tell you a mystery. The fact that people do not believe on rapture and they just fulfill the word that it is a mystery a mystery is a secret a mystery is a secret it is a mystery not all people know very few know this secret so rapture it is a mystery rapture could be quite Rapture it is a secret. It is a mystery. That is only revealed to them that are revealed. That it will only be revealed by the church of Jesus. Not all people that know this secret. So that is why when you speak about rapture, there are many people who don't care. For they don't believe. For it is a secret. And a secret. It is something that is a mystery. Hallelujah. Something that is sacred. The Bible says. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. They have the last trumpet. For the trumpet shall shout. And the dead shall be laid in corruption. And we shall be changed. So rapture is that moment. When Jesus Christ will come. When the church will be caught up. Rapture means the cutting up. Of the church of Jesus Christ. It means in a time that people are not aware. It means in that time. And in a moment, now in a twinkling of an eye, that thing will happen. Praise the 
the name of the Lord. Jesus is here. Rapture is, is, is uh, the Bible says it is a dream calling of an eye. When you go see the same, I have come and you come and you come back and you That means it is something that will not be there. Here you come and you say I come and you get to know why I have to come here. It is something that happened. Peer, you get to know why I have to come here. The way you open your eyes, you know why I have to come here. The way you you bring your eyes, you see now why I have to come here. That's the way the rapture will happen that day. Even day for now why I have to come here. And that's When the sound, when the trumpet is out, when God is going to pound the area, it will be like a twinkling of an eye. It will be like a twinkling of an eye. The bride of Jesus is caught away. 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 Jesus Christ has already come. Jesus Christ has already come. In a twinkling of an eye, it will be like a twinkling of an eye. What we have been waiting? Ah, we kill the nation to make God to King God. Fifty years from the time of sin. Thirty years from the time of the Lord. Since you received Jesus Christ. It will happen in a twinkling of an eye. And the harvest will take place. The harvest of the Asia. It has been taking place. And for you, Nasasa, you have been preparing. Ambayo na koki jenda. Mende iya. Sonya kanyingi. You have been preparing. Mende koki chubu. Mende iya. Sonya kanyingi. What will happen in a twinkling of an eye? That chapter will be closed. Na yao, yao, that chapter will be closed. Na yao, God have mercy upon us. Don't go down to an Uruma. For we are thinking that we are ready. Kwa maana tunawase ya kwamba tuko tayari. But it is a twinkling of an eye. Kini ni kwa kufumba na kufumbu. You realize that you are not actually ready. Una kukuke ya kwamba hukwele ya hukwe tayari. That you shall come to see that you are not ready. Uta kukuja kwele ya kwamba hukwe tayari. For the coming of Jesus of life. Uni kwa ke Yesu Christo. For it shall be a twinkling. Of asking people to forgive you, 
unajua you will be vigilant on that day when he comes either today you will be ready either tomorrow you will be caught ready and waiting for the glorious of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the name of the Lord Jesus listen here the Bible says it is a mystery and it says this in the 52 in a moment in a twinkling of an eye when the king of Moja go kufumba na kufumbua at the last trump at the last trump for the trump shall sound and the dead shall be raised and we shall be changed we shall be changed we shall be changed that means we shall not be lapsed with this body that is why it is a, it is a mystery because people of the world ask how will you fly in this body you Christians you are very funny how do you expect to fly when you depend on airplane and you see that day you fly and you don't have wings the truth is that we shall be changed we shall have So it is a day of catching away of the pride. And it is also in the book of uh, First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. 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 First Thessalonians chapter four. Thessalonians chapter four. And those are the things that you ought to write and to take heed of. Because somebody will ask you where is this rapture written. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, we are reading. Tunasoma. Ah, uh, first the story chapter 4 17. Ah, uh, what are you? It says this. Nasema namna hii. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven With a shout uh, With the voice of an, an, an angel And the trump of God And the dead in Christ shall rise fast Hallelujah And the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and together with the voice of the archangel and the trap of God and the dead in Christ shall rise fast hallelujah not only the dead but the Bible says the dead in Christ and the Bible says that blessed are them that die is in the Lord And remain shall be caught up together with them in the crowd. That is the word caught up. Together with them in the crowd. To meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with Him. Hallelujah. He says, We have to comfort one another with those words. That is why we should be comforting ourselves. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. We should not be comforting ourselves with 
kuacha lakini tunafaa kufanya jiana na injili ya the lord will come one day na kwa siku moja bwana yesu anisha bikoti with the lord na tutapa tutamlaki bwana so shall we ever be with the lord na kwa hiyo kwa milele tutakuwa na bwana not is rapture ah ujue ya kwamba unyakuza rapture it is only where ha ni mahali tuna ambapo but the jesus christ will not step his wall ambapo yesu kristo hata kanyanga dunia he will not run this earth hata kanyanga katika ardhi hii
Kuja. We are everywhere. Wako kila mahali. Like every country. Baba kila nchi. There is a Messiah of their own. Messiah wow. In every tribe. Katika kila kabila. There is a Messiah of their own. Kuna Messiah wow. Jesus is around the corner. Yesu Kristo ametoka kuja. He's already coming. Na anakuja. That's why we ought to be ready. Ndio maana inatupasa kuwa tayari. The prophecies are fulfilled. Maana unapinda unatimia. When you see that the Israel. Wakati unaona wa Israel. Who don't believe on Jesus. Ambao And now we believe they have a Messiah. And look at Israel. Israel is the arm of the eye, the eye of the Lord. And you bunny a chicha. That what happened to Israel? Come back here and watch it. The text of the Bible. The time is running out. Come back, Messiah, and Isha. Because Jesus is near. Come back, Jesus, and come to our country. And those people they are saying, now what we are saying, and what they are waiting. It is the battle of God and the Mago. Because they believe that the Messiah has already come. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. What does the Bible say? The book of Mark 13. God is saying, let us get ready. Let us get ready for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes, in the book of it says. The book of Mark. 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 That is 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 Not the angels which are in heaven. Hata malaika walio binguni. Neither the son but the father. Wala mwana ila baba. Take heed. Yeah, aha. Angalieni. Watch and pray. Kesheni na muombe. For you not know when the day is uh, when the time is. Kwa kuwa hamjii wakati ule utakapokuwa hapo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says that to watch and uh, watch. Biblia inasema angalieni. Take heed watch and pray. Ah, uh, angalieni Do you not know when the day, we, uh, when the time is? Do you see nobody know that day? And for the sake that nobody knows that day, it's not a reason of being ignorant of the day. Because you hear people the Lord say, when you say that Jesus is coming, they will be silent. And they will tell you. Nobody knows the day or the hour. They use that as an excuse. To continue your city. Nobody knows the day or the hour. And see they know the day. And the Bible says. When you see the tree. Shedding its tree. In its leaves. In angusha matawi ya. But read the next verse. 
kupuze. Look at the church of today. Hebu tazama kanisa la siku. Ignorance. Watu wanapuza. They are living in careless. Wanaishi katika maisha ya kupuza. That when you go to a meeting, hawa unapoenda katika mikutano, you find that the people they are not speaking about rapture. Unapata kwamba watu hawanani kuhusu nyakuzi. They are speaking about prosperity. Wanaenda tu kuhusu injili ya Bwana. They are speaking about living in this world. Wanaongea tu kuhusu kuishi katika dunia hii. Some are saying we will not die. Wengine wanasema hao hatutakufa. And we know that even death hata kifo it is a fulfilling of the scripture in the bible says those that are dead in christ Maana utakuwa kwanza to meet the Lord Jesus Christ. Unaweza kumlaki Bwana Yesu. Where is the name of the Lord? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You see, unaona? You need to change your prayer. Unahitaji kubadilisha maombi yako. Or not even to pray like that. Ah, hata uweze kuomba namna hiyo. Now people say oh, I want to be the first to meet Jesus. Okay, Unasema oh, nataka wewe wa kwanza kumlaki Yesu. The Bible says that the dead will be the first to meet Jesus. Unasema wao kufa ndio watakuwa kwanza kumlaki. So you are asking to die. Right? Send yourself. Yeah, you are sending yourself to the, to the grave. So that on that day you'll be the first to meet Jesus. Hallelujah. So we ought to be prepared. We are not 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 to be prepared. The way people are ignorant. Even in the church. The way pastors are not measuring rapture. He don't measure that one. About Christ coming. They don't want to measure. As if it does not exist in their vocabulary. Wana 
nikamwambia ndugu yangu dadangu when you see your cv you are you become satisfied in this world wakati unaona kama umetoshereka na dunia hii cry for your life jinidie maisha yako weep for your life jinidie maisha yako when you sit at repo wakati unakaa and you find a cv you are very relaxed in this world unakaa katika kiwango na unaona kama umetoshereka as if you are telling god oh god give me hundred years to live here kama unamwambia mungu nipe miaka 100 years to live here Amusha huyo amusha huyo praise Jesus amina haleluya haleluya praise Jesus amen that's why god is telling us yo mana biblia inatuambia tunataka desire wacheni tukaweze kutamani and comfort ourselves na tukaweze kutitia nguvu for that day is near kwa sababu hiyo siku imekaribia and let us weep so much na tukaweze kulia sana telling god to remember kwambia mungu atukumbuke for that great day kwa hiyo siku because it shall be a strange day kwa sababu itakuwa ni siku it will be a mystery itakuwa ni siku even to the science hata kwa wasayansi even to the preachers hata kwa wachungaji even to the church itself hata kwa kanisa lenyewe because they have not been prepared kwa sababu hawajakuwa wakijenda Matthew 24:27 Matthew 24:27 That day will be like this Hiyo siku itakuwa na namna hii Matthew Matthew 24:24 That is 27 24 27 Ah uh, 24 na 27. Ete say this. Inasema namna hii. Wherefore? 26 says. 26 inasema. Ka start 25 ama tuanze 25. Behold I have told you before. Tazama nimekwisha kuwaonya. Wherefore if they shall say unto you, basi wakiwaambia. Behold he is in the desert. Yuko jangwani. Go not for. Msitoke. Behold he is in the secret chamber. Yuko nyumbani. Believe it not. Msisadiki. 27 says. Shirina so as the lightning come out of the east. Kwa maana kama vile umeme utakavyo mashariki. And shine even unto the west. Ukaonekana hata magharibi. So shall also be the coming of the son of man. Hivyo ndivyo kutakavyokuwa kuja kwake mwana wa Adamu. Haleluya. Haleluya. Kwa the lightning come of the east. Kama jinsi ambavyo umeme utakavyo and it is shining even unto the west. Ukaonekana hata magharibi. So shall also the coming of the son of man. Hivyo ndivyo kutakavyokuwa kuja kwake mwana wa Adamu. Jesus Christ. Amina. Have you ever heard the Sijui kama umewahi sikia umeme. Have you ever heard the lightning? Umewahi sikia umeme? The lightning one. Have you ever heard it? Umewahi sikia? Or even seen it? Yes. Umewahi yona? Have 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 that lightning? Ah je hiyo umeme? Scared you? Umewahi kukogopesha? Praise the name of God. It scares you. Inakogofia. That you are you are not aware. Ya kwamba hauko tayari. And you 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 maybe you are passing on and doing your your things there. Uliko unapita tu na uko unafanya kitu. It is just a strike. Alafu inafanyika tu. It scares you. Inakogofia. And you feel as if you are dead. Na unaoskia kama umekufa. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. You become scared. Unaogopa. And the right thing it is strike fear. Na ina ile kilomita umeme inaweza kutokea kilomita but you feel as if you have been touched lakini unasikia kama umeguswa and you look at yourself if you are alive na unajitazama kama bado uko hai that is lightning hiyo ni umeme what about rapture sasa je unyakuza and that lightning it 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 strikes once na hiyo umeme inakuja mara moja when you did not know wakati ambapo hauji and you see a great light na unaona mwangaza mkuu Night, you see the bright light. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen
the Lord Jesus. That right knee is just a right knee. It can become even straight. Because even the radio, even the TV, even the TV, even the TV, even the TV, even Mm. It cannot see. I will see on the It is a spirit Because it is a strange thing. The same same thing that will happen. Like a lightning. That day shall come. Be up. At the right at the, the, within at, 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 at twinkling of an eye. And the day has been crossed. And what the people shall be speaking about? It is the great about the mark of the beast about, about the antichrist hallelujah hallelujah let us be prepared let us be prepared let me tell you if that day come today, the education does not matter. Even family will not matter. Even family will not matter. You will not know your family. If you will be left behind, you will be free for your life. Everything will be changed. Where is the name of the Lord? The money we have will be valueless. Education will be worthless. If they will change in the whole world, if they will change even the church, if you are a preacher, you don't preach anymore. It is over. Even the church will be changed. Praise Jesus. If they will change everything, 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 Upside down. Peace will be taken away. No peace. People will not uh, communicate one with another. Because what they will do, peace will be taken away. So people will be, will be killing each other. Hallelujah. That day. It shall be a day that is very strange. And that day that we are speaking, it might be today. Praise Jesus. What has it been? Everything changing. Let us be here. Let us be prepared. For when the lightning comes out of the east and shines even to the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man told you that after rapture, uh, uh, the government will change. Even the president will change. The world will be ruled by one man. The president will be like a chief. They will be like a chief. Because it will be ruled by one man. Who is the Antichrist? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. There will be no problem. There will be one world. One world of the devil. That's what's called the new world order. Matthew 24. 37. Listen to what that day is. The same same people of today. Bible says, but as the days of Noah, so shall also be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Until the, the day that Noah entered into the ark. And they knew not until, until the flood came. And took them all away. So shall also be the coming of the Son of Man. That is very strange. That as it was during the days of Noah, when Noah was telling and shouting unto the people, Noah preached like for 40 
40 years. Have you preached for 40 years? Telling people Jesus is coming. Telling people enter through the ark. And these are the people. They say this is the song of Noah. That is his old song. We know him. We always say that. We know them. We always preach that. They don't have any message. They always say about the better. They always say about Jesus is coming. Pastor, don't you have any other message? For 40 years. So it shall be even the coming of the Lord. He will come like those days. No matter how many warnings people have. No matter how many sermons. Are you ready? 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 Until the flood started, it is not the way it is today. People are still marrying and marrying. People are still looking and doing the things of the world. Nothing will stop. Praise the name of the Lord. If you are waiting for that day that things will stop, come on, God. It will not stop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will not stop. People will be still studying. What about what they are doing? People will be still going to abroad. What about what they are still going to enjoy? People will be still fasting and crying. What about what they are going to fung and kuli? Crying for their marriage. What kiri ya do asa? Crying for their for for their visa. What kiri ya visa? Ya uzi kujia. Nothing will change. Hakuna kitu tabadi. People will be still going to school. What about what they are doing? And the day will come. So don't say that the day will come. That when they, you not go to, to, to work. When you not mind. Now you, everything will stop. And you will be waiting for the day. No such day will come. It will come when we are continuing in the things of this world. So it is us. Be prepared. When you are working, when you are studying, when you are marrying, be prepared. Whatever that you are doing in your daily duties, seek first the kingdom. Seek first the kingdom of God. Because they may turn out to be vanity. Some of them are not going to be vanity. Some of them are not going to be vanity. Some of them are not going to be vanity. Some of them are not going to be vanity. Some of them are not going to be vanity. Some of them are not going to be vanity. Some of them are not going to be vanity. Of today, the yard. Even if I want to seek your level, if you not have any wallets, I wanna kusumbuka kuingi. They do not have any any wallets of their own. Just I wanna kusumbuka kuingi kwa sababu ya kuzi. Yes, they they don't worry. They don't care. I wanna kusumbuka kwa shukuriki. Yes, when you speak about they don't care. Wakati unainena I wanna shukuriki. They are used for that message. Ah, wame kuwa wame. You say a iyo jumbe. Have you preached until people become used? Yes. Ome hupiri paka watu wa. Even in your family. Ata kwa family yako. People will become used. What you are just there. Like if they walk through the days of Noah. This is a very difficult thing to say. They became used. What you are just there. What the message of Noah? Jumbe wa nuhu. Ah, you we know you. What you na kujua? Don't you have any other things to say? Ah, una jumbe mwingine wa kanya. That is how it will be. People are so much used. What you want to have there? When you feel as if you want to change the world, because of how much you have been praying, the day will come. Sit down, sit down. Hello, hello. 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 H
jambo. Why are you becoming like you are going insane? Ni kwa nini wewe unakaa kama muda wazima? We have a lot, a lot of time to do. Tuko na muda mwingi wa kufanya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second Peter. Petro wa pili. Second Peter 3:3. Petro wa pili chapter 3. This one word of God. Even the word of God in the same. Second Peter, uh, Petro wa kwanza wa uh, pili. It is said this. Nasema namna hii. Knowing this Um, kichua kwanza that they have shall come in the last days mkijua kwanza neno hili ya kwamba katika siku za mwisho watakuja and what do wenye dihaka walking after their own lust ah uh, wakifuata tamaza wenyewe haleluya haleluya and saying aha na kusema where is the promise of his coming iko wapi ahadi ile ya kuja kwake for since the father fell asleep kwa maana tangu hapo babu zetu walipolala you are the beginning of the creation do you hear what the scoffers will be saying that the bible says that we will come as scoffers in the last days and they will tell you since the days of our fathers all things continue the same as they were from the beginning of the creation na hichi pia imefanyizwa kutoka katika maji na ndani ya maji kwa neno la Mungu. Haleluya. Haleluya. That is to say. Na Biblia hiyo ni kusema that day hiyo siku it shall be like the days of Noah. Itakuwa ni kama siku za lubu. The same same way they doubted. Hivyo hivyo na ambavyo walikuwa na shuka. The same Chaka. same way they doubted. Jinsi hivyo na ambavyo walikuwa na shaka. It will be the same same way they will be doubting the days that we are. Hivyo na ambavyo watakuwa na shaka hata siku na bado tulivyo. We are speaking of outside people. And yet there is somebody who is also doubting. <laughs> Praise Jesus. He is still doubting whether he will come. Because you are not married. Because you are not yet married. You are still doubting. You, you think that Jesus Christ will wait for you until you marry. No. Yeah, kama Mungu Yesu atakungoja mpaka wakati utawao. He would. Mungu atakungoja. Let us stop using our little common sense. Wacha tuache kutumia mawazo yetu ndogo. Resisting that day of the Lord Jesus. Kupinga hiyo siku ya Bwana Yesu. That you know I am still studying. Oh, najua bado ninasoma. So Jesus cannot come. Oh, Yesu Kristo haezi kuja. As if as if you have a contract with God. Kama uko na maagano na Mungu. That he will start the fast and become. Ya kwamba utasoma kwanza alafu akuje. You are waiting. Unaangoja for you to finish to complete. Umalize kwanza. Pige hapo. That day will come. Yes, if it will come. Nobody will assist that day. Hakuna mtu atapinga hiyo siku. Nobody will even prevent that day. Hata hakuna mtu atazuia hiyo siku. Either you are married or not. Wewe umeolewa ama hujaona. Either you are studying or not. Wewe unasoma ama hujaona. Either you have just fallen. Wewe umeshika katika dhambi. Either you have not repented. Wewe hujaona. Either you have not been baptized. Wewe hujabatizwa. You will not be waiting for rapture. Hautaongojea siku ya unyakuzi. Rapture will not wait even. Unyakuzi haitafungoja. He said anasema kuwa tayari be prepared kuwa tayari watch out kuwa mwangalifu for that day kwa hiyo siku this is the time that you have been given ndio yeah. wakati na mbao if you are not ready for this time now you got tayari katika wakati huu there is no other excuse hakuna uh, uh, sababu nyingine yote haleluya haleluya that is how it shall be hivyo ndivyo na mbao itakavyokuwa and there is nothing that will prevent us na hakuna kitu na mbao itatuzuia for that day to come kwa hiyo siku kukuja Even the dead are tawa we will not prevent that awezi kuzuia hiyo siku as we first Thessalonians chapter 4 so Thessalonica wa kwanza nne first Thessalonians Thessalonica wa kwanza Thessalonians yes Thessalonians that is first Thessalonians chapter 4 Thessalonica wa kwanza mlango wa nne chapter 4 we can stay, uh, we can read uh, 14 mlango wa 4 tunaweza soma hapo 14 it is this nasema namna hii 
For if we believe that Jesus died and lost again, Mana ikiwoto amilia kwamba Yesu alikufa akafufuka. Even so them also which sleep in Jesus will will God bring with him. Video hiyo na hao walio lala katika Yesu Mungu atawaleta pamoja na. And that is it. Na 13 But I would not have you to be ignorant brethren concerning them which are asleep. Lakini ndugu hatutaki msijue habari za walio lala mauti. That you so or not Sija mkahuzunika even as others which have no hope kama na wengine wasio na matumaini for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again maana ikiwa tuaminia kwamba Yesu alikufa akafufuka even so that then also which is reaping just with God bring with him vivyo hivyo na hao walio lala katika Yesu Mungu atawaleta pamoja naye and there 15 now say sasa 15 inasema for this we say kwa kuwa to to you twaambieni and to you haya kwa the word of the lord That we, we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Kwa ba sisi tulio hai tutakao salia hata wakati wakuja kwake Bwana hakika hatutawatangulia hatutawazuia walio kufisha kulala mauti. Haleluya. Haleluya. Praise Jesus. What does the Bible say? Bible says that for this we that we are alive. Ah inasema kwa sababu ya hii sisi na we are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Ambapo ah kwa kwa kwamba kwamba sisi tulio hai tutakaozalia hata wakati wa kuja kwake Bwana hakika hatutaizuia wala walio kuisha kulala mauti. Haleluya. Shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the fire and the dead in uh, uh, in Christ shall rise first. Kwa sababu Bwana mwenyewe atashuka kutoka mbinguni pamoja na ma, na mwaliko na sauti ya malaika mkuu na parapanda ya Mungu na walio kufa katika Kristo watafufuliwa kwanza. Now catch that. Sasa shika hiyo. He say for for we that we are alive. Anasema sisi na watu kwa hali shall not prevent that day. Tutazuia hiyo siku. That's what he said. Even if I understand. So there's no one that will prevent that day. Kwa hivyo kuna yote na baada ya zile hiyo siku. Even if the church is not preaching this gospel. Hata kama kanisa haihubiri nji nobody will prevent that. Hakuna mtu na baada atakayezuia hiyo siku. Even if people are not ready. Hata kama watu hawayuko tayari. It will not be prevented. Ah itazuiri. For that day will still come. Kwa baada hiyo siku bado itakuja. Even if people hata kama wale will say oh he have he have uh, delayed so much. Anasema oh amekawia sana. It will not Hallelujah. <laughs> Kuna masomo mengi kuhusu hii siku. But yet they cannot prevent that day. Lakini haiwezi kuzuia hiyo siku kukuja. There are many sermons preached against the day of rapture. Kuna mahubiri mengi ambayo yanahubiriwa kuhusu hiyo siku. But yet they not be able to prevent the day of the Jesus. Lakini haitazuia hiyo siku ya kurudi kwake Yesu Kristo. There are many things that have been written. Kuna so vitu vingi ambavyo vimeandikwa. But yet they will not prevent the day of Jesus to come. Lakini haitazuia hiyo siku ya kurudi kwake Yesu. The day will still hiyo siku bado itakuja like it was during the days of Look at how people have backslidden. Look at how churches have 
So let us prepare. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said and asema, that for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the angel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise fast. Kwa sababu bwana mwenyewe atashuka kutoka mbinguni pamoja na mwaliko na sauti ya malaika mkuu na parapanda ya Mungu na waliokufa katika Kristo because the time will come. Kwa sababu siku itakuja. Look at this. Hebu tazama hii. Do you see how the croc runs? Unaona jinsi ambavyo saa huenda. The croc does not wait anybody. Ah, saa haiko jump to you. It doesn't wait anybody. Haiko jump to you. The croc is not afraid of anybody. Saa si rafiki yao to you. It's not afraid of anybody. Si rafiki yao to you. Whether you like it or not. Upende usipende. Whether you are a king, whether you are a father, whether you are somebody who have money, whether you are somebody who have money, whether you are the 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 that's how it shall be. That day will come. Whether who you are, whoever it is, it shall still be fulfilled. So it is we need to be updated. And to walk around with the God, so that you know, we may not be left behind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us read in this in the in the in the, in the word of God in the book of Luke 17. So we are going to turn to Luke. Luke 17. Luke 17. Luke 17. Luke 17. You hear what the God wants us to do. Let's see what the Lord wants us to do. Uh, Luke 17. Uh, Luke 17. 17. That is 34. Uh, for the Lord, Luke 17. That before, it says, I tell you in that night, there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken, and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grieving together. Then one shall be taken, and the other left. Two men shall be in the field. The one shall be taken, and the other shall be left. Rise Jesus. That's what God is saying. Nothing will prevent. Either you'll be living or sleeping with a somebody who is not uh, who is not prepared. He won't prevent you to be raptured. Right is the name of God. I tell you that I there shall be two men in the one bed. The one shall be taken and the left and the other shall be left. That will be a judgment. It shall be a judgment. That one be taken and one be left. That is to say, they are the same same if it is. Even in the church, there are people who will remain. And they are those that will be taken. No matter all people who will be ready. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. But I wish and I pray that you will be that one person who will remain. 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 That one person there is also the wise church. The foolish church is not ready. And whether they are sleeping, they are sleeping when they are not ready. Hallelujah. But the wise church, even if they are sleeping, they are still ready for the coming. They are people who say that we are we are doing a night vigil because we are waiting for that Jesus. 
Praise Jesus. What else you do? That one does not repent. Your height as we are. For that day to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because they say he cuts like a thief. So when you do not do it, you will not come. You will not come. Because you will be watching. Watch your eyes. 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 Watch your Spiritually, they are just sleeping physically, but their spirit are aware. Hallelujah! So, don't say you'll be alert. You will be not be sleeping. We are speaking of spiritual sleeping. If you sleep, Spiritually, be awake. It's too difficult to say that. Hallelujah! He said, and they answered and said unto him, Where the Lord and he said unto them, Whosoever the body is, neither will, 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 will be the eagles be gathered together. Ulipom soga, dipo wata kapokutana tayi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is to say, where the body of Jesus Christ will be, mahali na mbapo mwili wake Yesu, that's where the eagles will be gathered. Hapo dipo tayi wata weza kukusanyika. Because eagles, they gather for the fresh. Mahali tayi ukusanyika sababu ya nyama. All the fresh meat. Ah, nyama too. So be wise. Where you see the eagle gathering. Mahali na mbapo unawana kutu. No, that's where Jesus Christ is. Hapo dipo Yesu Christo yupo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rapture. Is real. We need to be prepared because this world is not our home. Do you have any proof of that? John 14. John 14. John 14. John 14. John 14. This is what the word of God says. Uh, we can start from verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God and believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If you are not so, I would have told you I go to and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, you may also. Hallelujah. Jesus is saying what? That I go to prepare a place for you. And he said, I will come again. And I will receive and to myself where I am that you may be also there. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just meditate upon this. You have your own friend that you are living with him here. Then that friend of yours, let, let him go to USA or to Germany. And he tells you, I am going to prepare a mansion there. When it is ready, I will, I will call you. I will call you. I will go. I, will, I want you to go with you there. And he tells you, I will come again. And I will come to take you so that you may live with you. Praise Jesus. How would you believe it? No, no, no. How would you believe in this world? Yes, you can believe in this world. 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 Such a person, Je, you know, you to take even your friend. Do you know that I have, they don't have many days here? Yeah. Do you know I am there when you are? Yeah. Like, yeah. Even the time I can go, yeah. I am not in Facebook. Yeah. 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 I am not in Facebook. You believe in the calendar. Looking to the calendar. 
calendar. But I am waiting now. Look at that. And when you hear the phone, you'll be running very quickly. Yes, I want to hear who is this one is telling you. Even if you are on the path, and you leave the phone, And in the book of Philippians, Philippians says also here. Philippians, Philippians, Philippians chapter three. Philippians chapter three. Philippians chapter three. Ah, that is twenty. Ah, It is said this. For our conversation is in heaven. Ah, command us this way. Kwaana sisi wenye wenyeji wetu huko binguni for our conversation is in heaven from whence also we look for the savior the lord jesus christ kwaana sisi wenyeji wetu huko binguni kutoka huko tena tunamtazamia mwokozi bwana yesu that our home is in heaven where we wait for the lord for the uh, where, where we also look for the savior the lord jesus christ who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working where he is able even to subdue all this and to see you and the kind mwili wetu wa unyonge upate kufanana na mwili wake wa utukufu kwa uwezo kwa uweza ule ambao kwa huo aweza hata kuvitiisha vitu vyote viwe chini yake haleluya praise jesus that for our citizens is in heaven where we wait for our Lord Jesus Christ. That is to say that this is not our home. Praise Jesus. So when you cry, no, this is not your home. Because if your home, you don't cry. Praise Jesus. Yes, when you are somewhere that you call your home, you do not have to worry. So when we worry here, we know that there's somewhere that we are going. Amen. Amen. And in the book and, and in the book of First John, First John as we are concluding, we are concluding. We are concluding. First John chapter 3 verse 3. Ana kwanza mlango wa 3 mstari wa 3. It is say, nasema. Now, beloved now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Wapenzi sasa tu Wana wa Mungu wala haijadhihirika bado tutakavyokuwa lakini tujue ya kuwa atakapodhihirishwa yes tutafanana naye yes maana tutamuona kama alivyo and every man that has 
must give hope na kila mwenye matumaini haya in him katika yeye purify himself even as he is pure kitakasa kama yeye alivyo mtakatifu haleluya haleluya do you see this umeona hii the bible says it is said that everyone that has his hope ya kwamba yote ambaye yuko na matumaini haya he purify himself kitakasa he purify kitakasa he purify himself kitakasa even as he is pure kama yeye alivyo mtakatifu knowing that that day will come kujua ya kwamba hiyo siku itakuja that is the reason why yes sir if you have that hope in you kama uko na matumaini hayo kwa you cannot be keep on sinning hauwezi endelea kufanya dhambi the reason why people keep on kissing me sababu na mbona nafanya watu waendelea the reason why the church sababu na mbona kanisa people are still sinning watu wanazidi kufanya dhambi yet they are hiding na bado wana if you go they don't have the hope of his coming sababu hawana matumaini ya kurudi kwake if you have the hope of his coming kama uko na matumaini ya you will keep purifying yourself utazidi kujitakasa you will keep cleansing yourself You keep on preparing the God that you are. Let the hope of his coming be. Mm-hmm. The church of Jesus Christ. They don't have the hope of his coming. Of his coming. Of his coming. That's why they are they committing sin. They are 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 ya kwamba atarudi that hope of his coming ile matumaini ya kurudi and they give you a glimpse of fear ila kupa kumuogopa mungu how shall be that day i just na mbaga kutaka vyo kuwa na siku he comes ah usiku na mbaga kutaka kuja and they keep on 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 taking you to the right place inaishi kukupeleka katika mjia na when you are about to fall wakati uko karibu kwa when you are about to give up wakati uko karibu kwa when you remember that jesus will be come kuka ya kwamba yesu kristo anarudi You go back to the way. You go back to the path. You go back to the path. You go back to the path. You face yourself. Let that hope be in you. Let that hope be in you. The hope of his coming. But to my idea according to what? Because that day. Because there will be a day where many will be ashamed. There will be a day where many will be ashamed. Wakisema ya kwamba pamoja na Remi that we are with they are one of us. Wakisema ya kwamba uko pamoja na But that day it will prove lakini hiyo siku ile inaonyesha with us ya kwamba wako na We are not one of us. Wako pamoja na they are not prepared. Hata hapo na jenda. Praise the name of God. Jesus if you will. Wacha kutusindikiza. Don't kutindikisha. Haleluya. Haleluya. Stop escorting us. Wasi tusindikishe. Stop escorting us. Wasi tusindikishe. Praise Jesus. Amen. Let us stop escorting others. Amen. When you are not ready, wakati yuko tayari, and you are still fellowshiping, na bado unazidi kwa bunge, you are escorting us. Unasindikisha. When that day come, wakati hiyo siku itakuja, you only escort us. Utakuwa unatusindikisha. Then you will be left behind. Unaacha nyuma. Haleluya. It's like somebody who is escorting somebody. Ambaye anasindikisha mtu. Yes, I'm escorting. Yes, he's going. Oh, anaenda. Yes, he's going to the bus station. Anaenda, anaenda kule kwa station ya bus. Bye. Kwa heri, then you go back. Alafu narudi tena. See? Oh, anasema ah. That's how it will be for the people that are in the church. Those that are in the church. Wale na mbao kwa kanisa. I am not repent. Lakini hawaje. Those that are in the Christian team ambao kwa katika Ukristo. Wale are still not repent. Lakini bado hawaje. They are escorting. Wale syndikisha. Those that are going to. Wale na mbao anaenda bingoni. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us stop becoming escorters. Wache ni tusio watu wa kusindikisha. But rather, lakini join in the race. Kaweza kuchungamanisha katika zambio. Everyone that have this hope babia yote na mbaya kwa mtumaini wake himself anajitakasa even as he is pure kama jinsi na mbaya that is the reason why ndio maana all those people that are in the bible ah watu wote na mbaya they died with that hope walikufa na hilo tumaini because they were purified kwa maana walishi kujitakasa when they remember that day wakati wanakumbuka hiyo siku when they remember that day wakati wanakumbuka hiyo siku all people must study the day of judgment kwa maana watu watasimama siku ya hukumu they purify wanajitakasa when they remember that day wakikumbuka hiyo siku they love jesus more wanampenda mungu zaidi Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is what we should be. It should be in our heart, in our heart. Hiyo ndio ambayo inafaa kwa katika mioyo yetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us read this verse. Wacha tusome hili andiko. In the book of uh, uh, in the book of James. Uh, katika kitabu cha Yakobo. James 5. Yakobo 5:7. James 
Be patient therefore, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husband waits for the precious fruit of the earth, and has long patience for it, until he receives the iron and red away. Be also patient, establish your heart for the coming of the Lord Ronia. Nani Vumirieni Mudipitisha Yenu. Kwamana kuja koke buana kume kuna karibia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Nani Vumirieni Mudipitisha Yenu. Kwamana kuja koke buana kuna karibia. And he said, Be patient, establish your heart for the coming of the Lord Rosalia. Nana Sema and Kwama Yesu na me karibia. And he said, Grant not one against another. Sema Dugo Musinomunikian. Brethren, let you be condemned beyond the church stand before the door. Sia Muka Ukumiwa, Angarieni, Wamusi, Amesima Mambere and Milango. Hallelujah. Do not envy one another. Do not have strength with one another. You are supposed to forgive those that have sinned against you. You are supposed to have peace with them. Be holy. Forgive them. Clear all those grudges. For God said, Behold the judge. Before the dawn. So he says, seek peace. And be right before he comes. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. You are still holding somebody in your heart. You are not ready for that. The judge is standing at the door. He's knocking the door like this. Do you know what it means? Do you know what it means? When the church comes, people stand up. What do you see, Mama? In the high court, Katika. When the church comes, people stand up. What do you see, Mama? Now he says that you are you are there. That's how Kopale. And the other one is also there. I will continue And you are being told do not have gratitude. And then you are waiting for one another. Pray for peace with one another. Pray for forgiveness with one another. Confess your sins to 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 If it is to be condemned, you be condemned. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So stand, uh, he said, the child stand before the door. So amend your ways. Amend your ways with the Lord. Amend your ways with God. For the child stand at the door. Praise Jesus. That's why the word of God is saying. In the book of Hebrew, chapter 2. Hebrew 2.1 Hebrew 2.1 Hebrew 2.1 Hebrew 2.1 Ah, uh, it is it is. Therefore, we ought to give the more and honest heed to the things which we have had. Let any any time we should let them sleep. Kwa hiya ime tupasa kuyangalia zaidi haya yaliyo sikiwa usije tuka ya kosa. For if the word spoken by angels is steadfast, and every transmission and disobedience receives a received a just recompense of the reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first be began, uh, first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that had it? Komana ikiwa lile neno lili lili lo neno na malaika lili kuwa imala. Na kira kosa na uwasi ulipata ujira wa haki mm. Sisi je Kapataje kupona mm. Sipojari wakoku mkuu na mna hii Ambao Kwanza ulineno na buwana mm. Kisha ukalibitika kwetu na wale walio sikia Hallelujah Hallelujah God is saying to us Therefore we ought to give more honest And to keep heed to the things which we have had Have you had the gospel? Have you had have you had the sermon? You ought to be serious. You ought to take heed of the things that you have run. Let them slip out out of you. For he said, if God did not spare the angels, 
Who sins? Hakuweza kwa sasa malaika. Hallelujah. For if God did not spare the angels. Kama jinsi na mbabe ya mungu hakuweza kwa pusha malaika. Hallelujah. How come shall we escape? Sisi jetu jaweza aje kwa pusha. How do you say? How shall we escape if we agree so great salvation? Kutepuka aje yo siku kuna mbao ni awokofu. That is the question. How shall we escape? Kutepuka aje kwa pusha. How shall we escape if we agree so great salvation? Kutepuka aje kwa pusha yo. Aha. Huh? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we making fun or are we are we catching what the word of God says? How shall we escape if we negate so great salvation? This is just to pretend to pour not to simple jari or kofun ku. There is no escape. There is no escape. Hakuna kwepuka. That is what he said. Even if I say there will be no escape. Hakuna kwepuka. kwepuka. If we have had the word of God. Kama tumesikia neno la Remember. Kumbuka. What you hear. Kile na macho mesikia. What will judge you. Dicho na macho kutacho kubukumu. Right, Jesus. What you hear? What you read? What you read? What will come to judge? Let us take heed of what you hear. Let us be prepared. 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 Let us be Just turn Simama tu the mighty name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu Just turn as we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Simama tunapoomba katika jina la Yesu Want you to pray nataka ukaweza kuomba and I want you to ask God ukaweza kumuuliza Mungu ask God to speak to you Uliza Mungu akaweza kukunenea the mighty name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu Hallelujah praise the name of the Lord Jesus Hallelujah Mwana Yesu asifiwe I want to pray in the name of Jesus nataka kuomba katika jina la Yesu I want us to pray together nataka tuombe kwa pamoja in the mighty name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu Just raise your hands up in the name of Jesus na mikono yako juu kwa jina la Yesu Say mighty Jesus mighty Jesus I come before you. Father to repent. Oh God to confess my sin. I have been ignorant of that day. I have not been preparing. Lord Jesus, I repent. For the ignorance of your word. I repent of my sin. Jesus Christ forgive me. Wash me by your blood. Wash me by your blood. Forgive me, Jesus. And prepare me. And prepare me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray from today on. I pray from today on. May you renew me. May you renew me. May you sanctify me. May you sanctify me. Through the word of God. Through the word of God. Through your Holy Spirit. Through your Holy Spirit. May you revive me. May you revive me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Revive my prayer. Revive my prayer. Revive my uh, my watchfulness. Revive my watchfulness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for revival. I pray for revival. Over my salvation. Over my salvation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray, Jesus. I pray. Jesus. Give me the Holy Spirit. Me that I may be alert. That I may be alert. On that day. On that day. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I repent. I repent. And I will live upon you, Jesus. I pray that when you come again, I pray that when you come again. Father, remember me. Father, remember me. In Jesus' mighty name. I do pray and believe. I do pray and believe. Amen. 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 Mighty Father Jehovah Chile, our Lord Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, we come before you. Father, have bring repented all of our sin, Jesus. We pray, Jehovah God, by the power of the Holy Spirit. May you sanctify us through your word. Sanctify us by your blood. Sanctify us by your spirit in Jesus' name. I pray to God that you bring the awareness of the spirit. The watchfulness of the spirit in our spirit in Jesus' name. 
that each and every day, Father, yes. we might be aware yes. that you shall come, Jesus. Yes. Father, that the work that you started in us yes. shall not, O oh God, be in vain. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. that this salvation shall not be in vain. Yes. This holiness shall not be in vain. Yes. The way we stopped the things of the world shall not be in vain, Lord, yes. that Jesus Christ we will see you once again. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. mighty King of glory, I pray for the sanctification. Yes. I pray where your people are not where are uh, um, uh, uh, fine. I pray that you may remove all those stumbling blocks, Jehovah, yes. that may be stumbling them they are walk with you. Yes. In the name of Jesus, remove every stumbling block. Yes. Remove every mountain, yes. preventing your people to prepare. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. I pray, Jehovah God, yes. of those that are weak, Father, may you now strengthen their faith in Jesus' name. Read your precious Holy Spirit. Yes. Father, be into your people. Yes. That Jehovah God, what you have started in us, yes. Father, will continue yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. We pray, Jesus Christ, yes. that according to the word of God, yes. that those that put their trust in you, yes. they will never be ashamed. Yes. We pray that we shall not be ashamed yes. in that great day, Jehovah God. Yes. But we shall be among them that rejoice yes. in Jesus' mighty name. And I will pray to our God, yes. whether we sleep or are alive, yes. Father, we pray to be in you forever, yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Whether we live or die, yes. we pray we die in your life, in you, Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Father, we thank you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jehovah God, even for reminding us, Lord, and for quickening us through your spirit and your word. Yes. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for the salvation. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We pray, Jesus Christ, that all is well, Jesus, because you are the one that started this, and you are the one that you shall come to finish us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray and believe. Amen. 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 Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, yes the Lord bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even because of the hearing. And that the hearing the world. The Bible says how 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 can they hear without someone being said and how can they preach unless the bible says how will they have faith because faith comes by hearing and that is hearing the word of God by the word of God I believe that your faith is being increased you are living in among the world you know sometimes you become mixed up by the world as if you won't even forget that you are rough you are, you are rough but you still coming praise Jesus whenever we are in the world let us, let us not forget that our beloved Jesus he is still coming amen amen, amen. let us clap for Jesus Watch and listen to Apostle Simon Peter, the end time trumpet voice, the straight crying voice. That now in this generation, the church have turned away from the gospel of truth and they have come with another gospel, a gospel that is perverted, a gospel of the world, a gospel that is so, it, 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 it's over coating, over coating the word of God in order that they may gain from the word of God, over coating the word of God so that they may eat and drink. Install the Apostle Simon Geshinga application on Play Store for the end time epistles. Writings of the last days with apostolic wisdom and revelation of the word of God that prepares the bride of Christ for the marriage feast of the Lamb of God. Beyond, the kingdom of God is near and Jesus Christ is coming soon. Install from Play Store and read the epistles. It's offline once you download.